Hey guys, what's up? So this is Haggle. Uh, now this is two nukes, one game, but really the most important part of this video is I'm going to be doing my first giveaway, and I'm going to be explaining the rules. So um, if you hear the rules and you don't have time for the rest of the video, it is a long video. Uh, just scroll to the end and you'll actually see the prize I'm giving away. Now it's going to be more of a, I guess for the Halo guys, I know Reach is out, everybody's really loving it, so um, it's going to be kind of a Halo giveaway this week. And I told you I'm going to start off small and then I'm going to go big, so my next giveaway is going to be the Razer controller, because if you know anything about them, they're going to be friggin' awesome. Um, you know, everybody's thought the headsets were going to give them an edge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really like to see what this, uh, this controller can do. Um, so, uh, now right to the criteria of the, uh, how you win, um, you gotta leave a comment and you gotta be a subscriber. Uh, now, cause I'm not gonna let some random person win it if they're not a subscriber, and hopefully my old subscribers might win it. I, I really like to see someone that's been here for a while to win it. But, uh, all you have to do is leave a comment below, and it has to be funny. So, make me laugh, and preferably about what the giveaway is about. Maybe, like, why you need it so bad, or why you want it, or what you're gonna do with it. Make me laugh, and you're gonna win. Um, now I'm gonna leave the video up for 48 hours before I find a winner. So you got two days to come in here and leave a funny comment, and then I will message you, and then you have 48 hours to respond to it, or I'm giving it to the next person. So that's it. That's all it is. And uh, it's uh, actually a remote control warthog. So check out the end of the video for some pics of it, and uh, I think you guys are gonna probably like it. It'd be kind of fun. Now as for the game, two noobs, one game. Man, I tell you what, I almost got three, and I know that would be kind of ridiculous, three nukes, because who looks up on YouTube, no one types in five nukes on YouTube, because, I mean, that's just unrealistic. Um, well, nukes, I guess, at 25 kills is unrealistic, but, um, so I almost get three, but that would have been kind of cool, but I guess I'm going to have to settle for two. Now, actual, the actual gameplay commentary, um, I like running mid on this map for a little bit. You're not going to be able to stay up mid and just rate the entire game. And let the people you're playing just have no clue what's going on because eventually they will spawn and throw grenades or new tube or hard aim and lay down somewhere and you're not going to be able to spot those people right away and they're going to kill you. So get in and get out. Get about three or four kills, get some nice quick kills, run, regroup, shoot somewhere else, then go back to the top and do it again. Because once I get the chopper gunner, you're going to see my ass run away to this hole. Um, I don't want to call that in mid. I don't want to have them the chance of killing me. So I'm going to go get in the best place I know on this map and then call in my chopper gunner. And uh, these guys are screwed. Now, we try to... One of my teammates actually knows what's going on. And the other two guys, I have not, no idea who they are. Um, but they were actually pretty cool. But uh, we're trying to spawn trap them. And so that they'll all spawn trap for spawn behind the silo. So you put one guy mid, one guy near truck, and one guy near the hole I was at. And they'll all spawn in one direction. Um, unfortunately, my teammate rushed the silo. So they're running everywhere now. Which isn't a really big problem. Because if you think about it, rust is about the size of your backyard. So I could literally just close my eyes and shoot. And I'll probably kill somebody. Um, even when people run cold-blooded on this shit with stingers, you're still going to get kills. I mean, they, they're not going to be able to take you down fast enough because your teammates are still going to be competing for kills trying to get people while you're doing that. And if they're good teammates, they'll shoot for the stinger people. Um, now, this is where I get my first nuke uh, with the chopper gunner. And I definitely get the second nuke with the chopper gunner. Usually, I don't like getting nukes with chopper gunners anymore. Um, but two nukes, one game chopper gunner? Eh, that'd be, I figure I'd post that. would be kind of fun. Um, so once I get the nuke, it's time to die. I'm going to run straight out there and freaking challenge the world. Um, because I have to die and get so I can get another kill streak. Um, and luckily, someone makes that happen for me pretty quick with the uh, Famas in the corner. Oh well, shit happens. Um, now as a spawn, I don't know if I get a kill right away. I think I get probably killed at a two kill streak, and then I go for the nuke again. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I, I'm creeping around. What we're doing with these bombs now? I told them, I convinced my teammates. Hey guys. Um, let me go for another nuke. Let's not end this game. So we're winning. Let them arm a bomb. Only one bomb. So that way the the, uh, the timer will run up for like another three minutes. And then we'll have three minutes and then we can let them arm the next bomb if we want. So I can add on like another 45 seconds. So we're really playing them right now. Really hard. Um, one of my teammates is about to defuse one. And because uh, we don't want the game to end just yet. Because I want to keep killing them. So... So far it's going really good. Uh, the only thing bad about running the sleight of hand, which I love, no scavengers. So eventually I gotta get my big ass out there and go get some weapons. Which kinda sucks because that really puts you out there to die. Um, and that can just totally ruin the kill. I have I've gotten a 24 kill or 23 kill so many times and literally run out of ammo and just be like, great, I have to go knife somebody. Um, that happened to me uh, twice today in a row um, before I actually made this video. So I don't know, that's I guess 
You know, the, the other problem with scavenger is, though, I really like shooting really fast and bringing up my hammer, and I believe that actually helps more than probably a gun. So maybe just find a find a weak teammate, kind of your couple that you run with, and uh, let him die and take his gun. Um, that can always be your plan, I guess. And uh, as I'm down to the PP2000 and I call him a Harrier, um, PP2000 isn't really bad for me. Um, if anybody watches my videos, I've got nukes with the PP2000. Um, it's as good as a primary for me. Uh, well, obviously not as good as an ACR, but it's the best secondary in my opinion. Uh, well, I say that it's my favorite secondary. I could be, you know, you can be a scrub and run dual shotties or a 12 extended mag, and I can't compete with that. But the distance that you get on this thing and the killing power it has is slightly ridiculous. So I'm always running PP2000. Sometimes um, spaz, just because it's kind of cool to run around with a pump shotgun because uh, you get some kind of cool kill feeds. And when you get a double kill with one shot, it's actually kind of cool. Um, so here's my second second chopper gunner. The chopper gunner uh, does work just like the last one. For a second, I thought I wasn't going to get it, but at the last second, I do pull out the chopper, or do pull out the nuke. Because uh, this guy's hiding in the middle, I start off kind of crappy. I mean, look, I'm getting hit markers by not actually killing anybody. So that gets me kind of worried, but no big deal because at the end of the day, it's rust. Uh, the, the backyard, the hell, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Because um, these guys are about to pay. Uh, now, um, I don't, you know, I haven't really seen, I've seen people get two nukes one game before, um, and you're about to see in mean, this video how I could have gotten three, because, I mean, you see, I mean, everything's going my way right now, I, I mean, I'm on a roll, everything's great, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and explain why I don't get it. They, they armed the bomb, well, they did arm the bomb, and we're trying to let them arm the bomb, so I'll have another three minutes to go for the lap, for the third nuke, and, man, right at the last second, I didn't know if they were going to arm it in time, and I watched the guy arm it, so I called it in, and as I call in my nuke, he arms the bomb, and I was so mad, I was just raging, um, it wouldn't happen in the first place, but one of the teammates we're playing with didn't even see, like, didn't know what was going on, so he, he went for the kill anyway, and, uh, that kind of sucked, and so right here, when I grab this ump, I'm going to run straight out again, because it's time to die again, um, I got the nuke, and I want another one, so I gotta die so I can get some more kill streaks. And that's kind of a bummer that your kill streaks just don't repeat. Um, and if they just repeat double the kills, that would be worth it, right? Like a Harrier, and when you go through the cycle, it takes 14 kills to get a Harrier. Something. I mean, I hate that it runs out, because when it runs out, it's basically like, all right, I want to kill myself so I can go get some more goodies. Um, now right here, you know, like I said, you know, I like to go mid, and you only can get a couple kills, get in, get out. This is the same thing. When I'm over here, this is really dangerous. Um, I'm going to get a couple kills. They're always going to be flanking me. You see that? I'm just throwing random flashes, and then I keep shooting and keep shooting. And at this point, I realize, okay, I got my kill. I'm running away because you can't keep up action in that because eventually you're going to be shooting someone, and someone's going to flank you. It doesn't matter how good you are, someone's going to flank you. So get your kills and get out. Uh, and so right here, I got my Harrier. Call it in, and man, I, oh, I was so close to getting the chopper gunner. I was so excited, but oh well, you know, I'm complaining that I still got two nukes one game, but oh well, always trying to improve yourself, guys. Um, now, this guy right here, I think I was going to shoot at him, and my guy calls in a predator. Or this in the next second or two, you're going to see this. And right here, I'm camping because I want them to arm the bomb, so I'm not running out or anything. Do you think that I'm camping for kills? No, I'm camping, well, I mean, I probably could be camping for kills. I really wanted to arm it. And this is where the teammate shoots the guy, and that kind of sucks. And so you got the last couple seconds coming, and I'm really freaking out because I really, really want this nuke to happen. And it doesn't, but oh well. Anyway, guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed Two Nukes One Game, and I hope you stick around for the end of the video and check out for a couple of the pictures of what I'm actually going to be sending to you guys. So, uh, and you're going to see me try to call in the other nuke, and it says, sorry, the other nuke's inbound. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to rate and subscribe, and let me know if you like, uh, what I'm giving you guys, 75 also, I thought that was kind of good, um, and let me know if you like the, uh, giveaway, I'm definitely gonna up my game in the next one, and, uh, hook you guys up a little bit more, so, I hope y'all enjoyed, and this has been Haggle.